I'm Rachel with Adventurous Heart, and today I'm going to show you Marv by Pet Skunk's cozy little setup. A guest on YouTube asked me to show you, and I thought everyone might like to see where Marvy spends his days, and when that is when he's not running throughout the house or in the romping room that I'll show you as well. And see, there he goes, running throughout the house. So follow along and I'm going to show you that if you plan to get a skunk, some things you might want to consider. First, let's start with the cage option. And I'll admit there are tons of different thoughts and theories about the best cage. So I'm just going to show you what we use. So we went with the Critter Nation, world's best small animal habitat. Basically, it's a ferret cage. And the cool thing I like about this is that it has nice little ramps. So it gives Marv a workout as he's going up and down. And it has easy to clean trays that can come in and out. So you can see this freshly cleaned one. Yes, they will get stained after a while, but it is freshly cleaned. And just some dog dish soap works as well. So wire mesh underneath put the tray in after it is cleaned and it is set and ready to go. So that's an overview of the starting basics, but I want to end there. Some other things to add to it to make it nice and cozy is you want to have a litter pan. So skunks by nature like to go to the bathroom in corners. So definitely go for the corner litter pan. I started with just one, but Marv reminded me there are multiple corners in this cage. And so if you see here for this corner litter pan, it has nice little hooks on it. And when he was younger, he'd still like to pull stuff away. So I did wire tie it to the side. Not necessary now that he's older, but I can take this litter pan and put it in the corner and then go ahead and hook those onto the side, just like you can see up on this one. And then as he is going to the bathroom, it stays in one spot. So definitely a corner litter pan. I would go with two. It'll make less mess. Every once in a while, he goes outside of them, but I go 98% of the time he will use those litter boxes in his cage. And when he's out running, almost never an issue. Other things to make this nice and cozy for him. So these are all of the things I want to go through today as we are talking. So cozy factor number two is you want to get something that's going to make them feel nice and at home. So something that's dark, they can uh, kind of cuddle up in. We found this really cool classy log in the woods that is hollowed out. So we go ahead and put it in there. He likes to sleep on the middle shelf to make it a little more cozy. We went with some towels and you can see they'll rough them up. So I have a couple that are designated for Marv that I go ahead and wash regularly, but I'll put them in here and he will go through and he will adjust them. So sometimes he'll spread it out if he is hot. Uh, he'll kind of let it like this. If he is cold, he'll bunch it all together. You'll see his paw kind of pull it all in. So that's a cool place for him to be able to relax while he is in his pen but it doesn't stop there. You see this empty space? Marv loves to hang out. And so we got him a hammock and you can see this one's rather used. There's a hole in it and his foot started to get stuck in it one day. So we bought him a new cozy hammock that I'm going to hang up and show you what that looks like as well. So let's grab that hammock. All right, so just a nice little cozy hammock. We went with green this time. It's nice and fuzzy on the inside. Marv is going to love it. And then it has these little clasps. So we're just gonna take these clasps and go ahead and hang them. And it's perfect because you can go ahead and hang them on the wires in here. So the great thing about these as well is you can just go ahead and fasten it. And I'll go ahead and fasten all four and show you what the hammock in here looks like. All right, all four hooks are fastened and now Marv's hammock is ready to go. He absolutely loves sleeping in either the hammock or the log. I think he just feels safe when he is inside of them. A couple other things to make this a little bit more homey for him is he has to have toys. 
So these are some of his favorite toys. So little ferret balls, he will sit there and grab one and he'll just roll and flip around. Most of the videos of that I have are rather dark uh, because he likes to hang out and do that at night. So we'll take some of these, he'll move them around, but I typically put them on the top shelf and he'll put them wherever he wants. The other things he likes are little stuffed animals, believe it or not, and he will just take them and start kind of moving them around as well and tucking and rolling with them. So get some things that they can tug and play with. If he's feeling feisty in the morning, I'll take a stuffed animal and we'll play tug of war with it as well. So make it a little more comfortable for him. So now that we have the essential comfortable things, a few other things to keep in mind. Just to have a water dish. So I like ones that have a nice wide base. If they have a narrow base, they tend to step on them and flip them. This one, he doesn't flip. And so if you have issues of water getting everywhere inside your pen, go ahead and change it. And I like to put this just behind the stairs because then when he's running up and down, he's not going to step on it and make his water dirty. So obviously change that regularly. A quick disclaimer about this pen is that Marv is a pretty petite skunk, only weighing about six or seven pounds at four years old. So he fits through the hole and does really well in this pen. However, if you have a larger skunk, you might need to consider something bigger. So something to be mindful of. In addition, some other things you might consider is he loves his ramp. So this ramp, I just uh, will close the cage so you can see the doors will close both of the bottom ones close and so when he's in there the ramp is down nice little storage space underneath that you can put anything and then when i let marv come out i go ahead and i just take the ramp put it up and he can easily come and go as he wants all right so if you're buying the package they a lot of times we'll sell these covers with them. I started to use them, but he didn't really care to have them or not, and it just kept everything cleaner not to use them. Other things that are here is, in addition, it's always good to make sure your skunk, uh, there's another video with what they eat, but I have Vita skunk here, so always make sure they get their vitamins. And when I bought that, of course, it was free shipping if you got some more toys. So these are new toys that I'm going to start playing with, uh, with Marv as well, so you can find his food in it. I'll have to let you know how well they work. Uh, but he loves the ball pit as well. And so you can see him here. He's playing, he's getting sweet potatoes today, uh, but just kind of playing around in that. So kind of bringing it together. The other thing to be able to note, you'll see here that I have unscented kitty litter. So when you have that corner litter pan, make sure you get the unscented. Skunks don't necessarily like the scented version. And then just a little uh, scoop and a trash can to clean it out on a, a daily basis, of course. So going from top to bottom, this is Marv's, all the way to the top, cool picture. This is Marv's cozy little setup where he hangs out on a regular basis. But keep in mind, he is not always confined to this area. Uh, just like right now, he's not in there. He is roaming throughout the house. So I always recommend to make sure your skunk gets a lot of exercise. So for Marv, it's running throughout the house when I'm here. Uh, it's running up and down the stairs in the basement to be able to go down. Uh, so it's making sure they have an opportunity to stretch their legs. In addition to stretching their legs inside the house or in the romping room, so I'm gonna show you the romping room. And basically this is where the dogs stay, but when the dogs are out in the sunroom, uh, Marvy sometimes goes in the romping room so he can stretch his legs as well. But keep in mind, just like any place, if you might hear Marv kind of pulling at the door or moving around, he has plenty of space in here, but sometimes just like you and me, he likes to explore other areas. So it's not that the space is too small, it's just they wanna look at something else. So we go ahead and move him from place to place. So that's why it's good to have some variety. Speaking of variety, the other thing that I recommend is, if you're into that, is having some type of harness. I have found going on walks outside is something that he enjoys. I've tried a number of harnesses. I really like just this regular kitten harness. And Marv is good if I put this one around his stomach. But when I go to put it around his neck, he's not too much of a fan of my hands reaching under there. 
So I found that he actually really likes it if I go ahead and just take this little rope and I feed it through the loop. And then when I go around his neck, I can just use this as an extension of my fingers to go around. It's not because he's trying to bite me. He just doesn't really, doesn't really want me to get that close. And he totally is okay with this. You will see that I do have a kind of a thicker chain leash. And the reason for that is skunks have sharp teeth and I don't want him chewing through uh, a nylon one. Not that I necessarily think he will, but just in case. So I do use something like this. So hopefully this gives you a good overview of some of the enrichment activities, some of the things you should think about to make your skunk habitat nice, fun, and cool. All right, we will give you one last quick setup. You see Marv has returned to his pen and I've added his new toy. This is the first time he has seen this. We will see what he does with this. So a new type of enrichment for him. So there are sweet potatoes in there. He can obviously smell them, uh, but I think he is pretty excited for his brand new toy. We'll see if he can figure out. Oh, there he goes. Good job, Marv, you figured it out. Oh yeah, jackpot. Perfect. So hopefully this gives you some good ideas for a pen for your next pet skunk, or you just enjoyed watching to see how Marvy chills out. But thank you for joining us. I'm Rachel, this is Marv, and we are Adventurous Heart.